And Godu riding in front. He also knows he needs to be there, doesn't want to lose more time. And we're coming into this roundabout. They should have the information that the left side was quicker. And this is why Jumbo Visma is making the search to the left. They have that information from the sports director. Look at the speed. It's almost 80 kilometers an hour as they make their way down to this section. This is Rapido on stage 11. Here comes the next turn at 74k an hour through the roundabout. Left-hand side is the, the way to go. Some riders took the right and they're nowhere close to the front. Jumbo Visma are going to carry Vengegaard under 3k to go. He's safe. Grosenegger in the perfect position there. The speed needs to be to continue. And often when we get to 3k to go, it always looks like uh, Jumbo Visma slow down and it gives a chance from the sprinter's train to come back from behind. Yeah, now you see that kind of resurgence of teams and a change. And did we say that Matthew van der Poel wasn't going to lead out Jacobs, uh, Phillips and he's not there now. So they are going to go with a different train. And there's a Craig Anderson again in the front. He's looking behind him. Big, powerful pull over the bridge. Two and a half kilometers to go. At the back then, the UAE Team Emirates riders have sat up. Oh, a little bit waves. of a switch across the road because there's no real control of a fast rider. Uno X take control now to try and just put some pace on. Craig Anderson on the inside as they take the right-hander off the bridge, 2K to go. And Nico, what comes up next? So now we're coming into a two, well, we're coming into a right-hand turn, coming in very shortly into a left-hand turn, 1.5 to go, and then it's really straight. There is a, the road will slightly go left, slightly go right, but in the middle line, it is straight. Look at the speed now, Ewan moves up. Philipson is ready, Van Aert fancies this one. Big move right-hand side as Fred Wright tries to come forward. They swing right-hander now onto smooth tarmac, 1,500 to go. And there goes the, the next left, Caleb Ewan in really good position, just in front of Philipson. Fighting with Kirsch, they're whoa, pushing whoa, each whoa, other. Whoa. Kirsch not giving in there, but Caleb has the bigger word. Caleb has been nudged off the wheel on more than one occasion. Kirsch is going to try and take part in this sprint for Pedersen, but he's bumping off everybody. Ewan gets into position. Front of the race then, Soren Craig Anderson behind a couple of places. There's the bridge, 1K to go. They get Christophe Laporte, Van Aert, Caleb Ewan, Philipson, Jordi Moose, and then behind Pedersen and Gurmai. And here comes from the surge from behind with Jasper Steuben and Pedersen on the wheel. Coming really fast, going to hit them early. 65 kilometers an hour as we make our way into Mulan. Jasper Steuben and Pedersen. The arrival of Luca Meggetz with Dylan Gronewegen on the wheel in the blue and white. Gronewegen is looking for this sprint. But here come Uno X with Alexander Kristoff. Is Kristoff going to win a stage? Oh, that was almost a crash there. Jordi Mayus almost hit the barriers. Philipsen on another almost crash. Philipsen is going through. Gronewegen hits the front. Philipsen is about to kick through the centre, Jasper Philipson, four out of five for Jasper Philipson, fourth stage win in the Tour. What an incredible sprint, such a demonstration of power, and you could just, uh, just really see the tired legs, there was a massive split there in about 25th position. But I guess in that uh, in that top front of the, the, the peloton, there's only riders who are really competing for the sprint and no one from GC. And 